welcome back. I need to show you something about Captain Seabeard. I found out that he is a mid-range guy. Because his damage uh, gets lower the farther away he is. See? So it does 27 damage. And if you go closer up... Ah, I didn't get to show you there. But the closer up it does... See, it does 40 damage there, but farther away... Well, that's... See, it drops in damage. See, that did 27 there. So the farther away you are, the less damage you do. Which I think is dumb, because this guy has a humongous zoom. So, I don't know why he's like this, but he's a mid-range character. So look how far that zoom is. So... I'm going to be showing you some Cosmic Brains gameplay. Cosmic Brains is terrible. He is one of the worst people in the game. But if you manage to find out how he is good, then he can be one of the best people in the game. And he sucks. Cosmic Brain sucks. He is not good. You have to charge up for like five or six seconds to actually do set it's just 70 damage but what you're supposed to do with him is shoot because he does tons of damage far away with his laser compared to his punches so look how fast his punches go they're pretty slow and they just do 20 damage so look at this, 20, 20, 20, 20, when you can easily do more damage by shooting your laser. So the laser is stronger than your punches, which is ridiculous. Ooh, level. So if you charge up for like 10 seconds, it does 70 damage. <laughs> And then the unique thing about him is that he can go up to people, and if they have less than 70 health, he punches them to space where they can't get revived. But I mean, like, that's terrible, because the Chomper can one-shot people, so if you have to charge up that long, he should be able to one-shot people as well. But this laser makes him, like, super overpowered. Like, I played Team Vanquish with him yesterday. And I got uh, highest streak, uh, most kills, and I think assist master, but I don't know. But this guy is really good. He can mow down everyone. See, just mowing down the punks. Doze weeds. Bang. So... Cosmic Brains is good at a distance. Well, like mid-range. See, he just destroyed that pot weed. Or whatever his name is. Terracotta. I don't know. But this is just going to be a tutorial video on how to use some crazy people. So this guy I haven't quite figured out yet. The scuba soldier. <coughs> He's not overly good. He has two ammo, and you have to get direct hits or else you're gonna die. Like, especially for the Chomper. Like, Chomper's like, oh, don't get two shots, or you're gonna die. And then you have to reload as well. Which is not good when going up against the Chomper. So I found out that this guy's a mid range guy as well. Like, close to mid range, not too far away. His splash damage isn't too good. So, I haven't... This guy's decent, but he could be better. Try and use this guy in a group. He, he'll be like the support, kind of like Captain Seabeard. Like, he can do enough damage, but he's good for just damaging people, not for finishing guys off. Unless if you get the final shot, then, of course, that's completely different. 
Captain Seabeard is way better at doing this. So yeah, stay in a group of other zombies and you should be fine. But otherwise I don't recommend using this guy if you don't like doing this. Uh, but so overall this guy is not too good. Sorry about that, my headset went haywire. But, um, so the scuba soldier is only good for certain circumstances. So, the zoologist, he is used like Dr. Chester. Dr. Chester has, is, um, a close up guy that does a bunch of damage. So, like, see. This guy's like Dr. Chester. You have to be a little more accurate with him, but the trade-off is that he has a little extra range. Not too much, but, like, enough. But you still have to be a little more accurate with him. So if I show you... So you can shoot him from here. Which is a way longer range than Dr. Chester, so... He has 9 ammo, which is one more than Dr. Chester as well. I don't think a lot of people are going to use him because no one really liked Dr. Chester, but I am a big fan of Dr. Chester. So the computer scientist. I'm going to be comparing him to the paleontologist since um he works most like the paleontologist. So he has 8 ammo. The paleontologist has 14. So this guy can shoot far, like, but he has, he doesn't have splash damage, unlike the paleontology. He does a decent amount of damage, not the best, but let's see what happens when I get into crunch mode after I kill a bunch of people here. So he can do more damage. He can't do as much damage as the paleontologist. Yeah, I'm going to play as the paleontologist first thing once I get Garden Warfare 2. So much better. So now I'm in crunch mode. If I can find anyone. I don't think I can. Oh, there's a guy. Yeah, so he does 43 on not criticals. So far, this is the exact same thing as the paleontologist. So, yeah, like 48. That's pretty much the same thing as a paleontologist. So, so, use the paleontologist, he does more damage, This, unless you want to move faster. So the paleontologist does more damage overall, and he has more ammo, and does fire damage. So yeah, this guy sucks compared to the paleontologist. See, 75, that's good for criticals, but that's 8 ammo compared to, what, 14? Yeah, I don't recommend using this guy. I'd give him, like, a uh, 4 out of 10 overall. Because, just because there's so many scientists that are so much better than him. He is not nearly as good compared to the scientists. So, the Rhodey Z Engineer. Is he good or bad? Well, he has 25 more health than the regular engineer. Why does it still say crunch mode above my abilities? I don't know. Glitch. Let's see how much damage he does. Nine damage. Not not terrible. I mean, like, this guy's pretty good. But, I mean, this guy's really annoying in some of the games that I've played with him. Like, he just killed me, like, pretty fast. But he is pretty annoying. So, um, if you don't know what he does, he blurs your screen so I would say this guy's pretty good combined with his jackhammer this guy is fairly good now compared to other engineers mmm compared to the normal engineer he sucks since the normal engineer is probably one of the most overpowered people in the game like 20 splash damage are you kidding me <laughs> it's like the anti citron just shoot around citron shield that's it. But, um, 
compared to other engineers, well, it just depends on your playstyle. If you like the Chomper, then this guy's gonna be good for you. If you like Dr. Chester, you're gonna really like him. Because he is so close. But I, I, the only reason why I don't like this guy as much as the, some other guys is because he doesn't have the abilities of my favorite guy. So, like, Dr. Chester had the heal station. One of my favorite abilities in the game. But he doesn't have the heal station, so. He has the jackhammer, which is still pretty good. I like the warp. I prefer the warp. But the jackhammer is pretty good for getting in the garden. This guy is more, I would say, pushing more than defense, but he can be used for defense. Like, get in the garden and just wreck everyone. So this guy is pretty good, but... If you like range characters, then don't use him. So, the Moto X Star. Why do I still have the Crunch Mode thing? He has the Dirt Devastator. He puts dirt on enemies so they can't use their abilities. So if he shoots you too many times, then your abilities aren't going to work. So, hmm, I haven't played as him too much. No, why did you kill him? I need to see how much damage he does. Yeah, so he does a pretty good amount of damage. Um, up close and far away, I would say. Yeah, three on not critical hit. That's pretty good. No, oh, this. Actually, actually pretty good for stunning enemies, too. So I would say this guy is pretty good. I don't think these guys have enough health so I can show dirt on them but. see they're dirty oh. but um yeah so if they look if they're just covered in brown then um that means that they're like dirty see right there oh, I killed them. <laughs> so that um they can't use their abilities so that's pretty much that guy. He shoots just as fast as the normal all-star, I would say, maybe even faster. He does less damage, but this, he does a little bit of splash damage. See, I wasn't... See, I'm not exactly aiming at them, and it does enough damage. See, look, that weed's dirty. So, um... Oh, he got a suppression assist. So, yeah, the so there's that. That's pretty cool. So, if, compared to the other All-Star, I would say this guy is a little better in my opinion. I mean, the Golf Star is really good. Wait, does he have an arc? Yeah, he has an arc, so. He has a little arc. I don't know what it is compared to the normal All-Star. Um, yeah, yeah, it's about the same. So, um, I prefer this guy, but, um... I mean, the choice is yours. There's not really a huge difference between these guys besides this guy stuns people with their abilities. He'd probably be really good against Rose, in my opinion, because Rose can turn people into goats. So if you can get behind Rose and stuff like that. So, we did not do the imps. <coughs> so, the imp, you want to jump as around as much as possible. To do the most damage. Well, not the most damage, but be the hardest target to hit. If these were actual players, then it would be a little more difficult. But I prefer the Cone Imp, honestly. See, I only got like two shots off. Three, three shots. I didn't even get the kill. So this Imp is not the best. Yeah, so you have to... You shoot as... Um, it's not an automatic weapon, you just fire as fast as you can. <coughs> I would say this guy's. You use the imps for defense. If you use it for pushing, then you're gonna die because all the plants are in the garden at once. So it's just a really bad idea, that part. See? This guy's not good at far range. But, um. He's pretty good. 
But um, the normal Z-Mac is way better. So I'll just use the normal imp. This guy is not nearly as good as the normal imp, in my opinion. He doesn't do enough damage. Well, he does a decent amount of damage, but not enough. The Z-Mac isn't any better. The Z-Mac is actually pretty, pretty crappy. They don't even have a name for the third ability. See, look. Just... Oh, I didn't even kill anyone. Yeah, so that brings them toward them, so you can use that slashing ability. But it's not... This guy's not... So, um... My mic keeps turning off for some reason. Or wants to turn off. But this guy does a little more damage than the other Z-Mech. But I guess, like, that's the trade-off. I, I just don't like this one as much. So if I can find a terracotta weed or a pot weed or something, then I can show you how to... Okay, there we go. So if I shoot that guy... No, I missed! Oh, wow! Another one literally just spawned. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. So... You can use the abilities together, but... So this guy's good at taking down individual guys, not like the regular imp. So, like, if I do this... See, it brings him forward, though. Oh, I... Yeah, he got the kill anyway. So, um... If we switch over to the normal imp... I'll get to the cone imp after this guy. So if we could go to the normal imp, then, um... This guy is way better in my opinion. He does 6 damage and has 50 ammo. So there's... If you pre-ordered the Z mech, the Z7 mech, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, he's not as good, but hey, you still get the customizations and the coins. I mean, that's what matters. So yeah, so you can still use this guy. See, he does way more damage than the normal guy overall. Than the... Um, D7 imp or whatever his name is, I don't know. So he can do way more damage, like combined with his gravity grenade, you can just run around and shoot people. But this isn't my favorite imp. I'll show you my favorite imp after this one. That's the cone imp. So this guy does like six on criticals. Which is um pretty good because two shots equal um one of the other guys criticals so this guy is not very good in my opinion I mean so combined with his gravity grenade he is pretty overpowered see look how much damage he does compared to the normal guy to the C mech sorry I keep calling him the normal guy so um here I'll show you his Z mech I don't really like the Z the Mass Effect imp as much. So this guy, yeah, so you can, so the Z mech, Z7 mech does more damage than the regular Z mech. But if I can get in a huge group, the guy is... Okay, so... I need to find a... I would like to find a small group at least. So there's this guy. He has 20 missiles, that's a lot. So, I think that needs to be nerfed to like 10 or something, because that can clear out an entire garden net for that one move. So, this guy stomps on people, it does 75 damage, that's pretty good. That's just, that's the same amount as um the other, the Z, C7, Max, whatever, that slash thing. So, this guy's not very good. I mean the Z7 mech, so, see, it's really good for clearing out gardens. Oh, now there's the sunflower. Stomp, see, so it's, it's decent, it's not the best. I did not take damage, okay, now I did. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so then there's the cone imp. Which is my personal favorite since he does splash damage. It's a fully automatic weapon even though it doesn't look like it. He shoots in bursts of two. 
which is pretty cool. I, I like this one. This guy's my favorite. He can jump around, shoot people. So he can be really annoying for anyone except for the AI since they like are um, precise. They have 90% accuracy or something like that, of course. I didn't even get any of the money. <laughs> but um, so he is really good against players. I don't recommend doing using him in garden ops or anything because like there are so many better people to play as. Like the other imp is way better for garden ops, but yeah, jumping jumping around and shooting is what you want to do. I have the elite controller so I can aim and jump at the same time. <coughs> See? Woo! So you just want to jump around as much as possible. I got a, four a streak of 14 doing that with this guy. Yeah, so see, you just want to jump around as much as possible. And then you can use your imp kata to wreck everyone. Woo! So this guy's pretty good. And then you use his z mech because z mechs really good in my opinion. <clears throat> Especially in Herbal Assault. So he does tons of damage. He's not as good as clear. He's not as good for clearing out multiple enemies, but he's good for clearing out one or two. But uh, then he has the cone mines, which are really good in gardens and graveyards because there's those guys that um just go in the garden and run around like Citron. Maybe maybe it's Citron. You never know. So, um, you just place your cone mines around the garden, and then, bam. So this, then he, his second ability is his charge. It does, like, 75 damage or something. So, same as the sprint tackle. So you can place his cone mines just in the garden, which do a bunch of damage. Oh, use his charge in a big group of people. Don't bother using it against one per person unless if you're about to die. But if you're about to die, then you can use the explosive escape. So I mean, like his cone mines. I don't know if you'll get to see. There he goes. 150 damage. So that can kill most people. So like Citron's going on the in the base are most likely gonna die. See, look at those. They have little eyeballs. Oh, geez. Random throw. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill a rose now. So I showed you the regular imp, I showed you cosmic frames, this guy, this guy, this guy. Um, I'll do a tutorial on these guys, why not, on the new classes. <clears throat> so Captain Deadbeard, one of the most overpowered people in the game. So zoom in, long range, this is short range, zoom out, and then this is mid range. So he's literally every range. What a waste. <laughs> you can hit B to cancel that. But I was just showing you. That was not a good way to show you since that was... Like, that would have been a really good way to show you. You can't zoom in while using... While in Rose's, um... Ability, the time warp. So that's... Your biggest weakness is Rose. But, um... Yeah, so he's long range. I showed you... This guy in some of my other videos, he is pretty good. He has the barrel blast. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, if there's a chomper burrowing and you're trying to, like, just not die, then get in your barrel and you can... And then they eat the barrel instead of you. So that's the only good use I can find for it right now. See, it does 150 damage. But, I mean, it should have more range, in my opinion. Or something like that, so... He does a really good amount of damage. See, 40 damage up close. It does take two of your ammo, though. So it's like bang, 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 far away, and then you can just destroy people up close. See? Just like that. Easy peasy. Destroyed the bucket head. He's really good in groups. So he can take out multiple enemies in an area. He's kind of like the scientist, cactus, and pea shooter combined. So here's some more of his cannon. This is good at mid-range. Remember that. But the accuracy is a little off. <laughs> I actually got it again. 
So, um, see this? You can attack multiple people at once. No, I can't cancel this. You should be able to cancel the barrel. I got one guy, so if I respawn real quick, then I can use his parrot pal ability, which is slower than the garlic drone, but has more health. So that's the trade-off. And then there's the egg bomb. He does about the same damage. There's the egg bombs, which do tons of damage. I think the corn strike does more damage, but um, you can't really react to the egg bomb unless if you're hypering out of that space. So there's the bird. You can go up and down with him. So um, go on to the next character. And go on to Super Brains. Because why not? Do you like my impression? I think I'm pretty good. Oh, that was a fail jump. That was a bad jump. So, um... I would demonstrate this guy in the flag of power, but then, you know, it would do more damage. So, this guy is not good at far range, like, unlike the cosmic brains. But he is really good up close. So, he is, like, quite contrary. So, like, there's the super ultra ball you can use that in midair. You can also use this kick in midair. That does, like, what, 15, 25 damage? I don't know. But you can't shoot or anything like that in midair. And then you can use your torna tornado. You take less damage in the tornado. Oh, same as the barrel. But that's good for taking down multiple enemies, I guess. But, um, I mean, that should do a little more damage, in my opinion. So you can use the super ultra ball in midair. Do some damage there and then kick them you know as usual you can also use the tornado in midair so i prefer cosmic brains just because he can do a little more damage far away see cosmic brains have like nine damage compared to him nope. but um i'll show you the tornado one more time so you take less damage in the tornado it doesn't even knock people back see look just does like a little bit extra damage if you manage to hit uh, people with the super ultra ball then you do massive damage so that's basically the tutorial for all the zombies I'll do one for the plants but I don't have the Zen cactus yet so <sighs> I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to unlock the Zen cactus first if I don't then I'm just gonna have to do it without the Zen cactus so